<laughs> oh my god. Hi, I'm Scott Mansell and welcome to the Driver61 channel. Now today I'm at Simtech Pro in Barcelona testing out their professional grade simulators. And now is the most exciting part of the day where I'm going to test a VR headset to see how realistic it actually is and how it compares to real life racing. <laughs> amazing. So I'm sat in the car and the first thing to notice is that the steering wheel moves absolutely perfectly visually with what I'm actually feeling. Uh, it feels just like Spa and it feels like I'm in a GT3 488 which is just incredible. So let's head out onto the circuit. So I've driven with a three monitor display already today on Spa in two different sets of software, iRacing and Assetto. Um, so I'm driving the same car on the same circuit to get a real feel for the comparison and to see if I might be able to be quicker with this visual, with this VR headset. I'm coming up to Lacombe now, sixth gear, on the brakes just before the end of the curve. run a little bit wide there on the brakes. I think I just need to become accustomed to it, but everywhere you look, the, 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 the good thing or the thing that I can, I can feel is really amazing is that you have to, when you move your head and obviously you can see the apex, it's just like when I'm training drivers to look that bit further ahead in real world driving. Okay, let me try and get quick. So, First reactions from that, um, first of all, it's, it's absolutely incredible. You're so immersed in the, in the feeling, but in terms of using it as a tool to improve your technique um, on the real world racing circuit, the VR headset, I have to say, is much better than, than the, the three screen or single screen setup. Um, why, you may ask, well, the, the first reason is that you're, you're, you're so much um, more inside the feeling. It, it feels real, it's unbelievable. Um, it's easier to pick out the, the apexes, the braking points, the exit points. It's a lot more like uh, real life racing where you're, you're looking across for the apex and you can pick it out and, and get there. So I think you can, you can be quicker with the headset uh, more quickly than you might have to with a three screen or single screen setup. Um, by that I mean if you hadn't been on the sim before and you jumped in and used the VR headset, you, you would be quicker than if you just used a three screen monitor because you wouldn't have to get uh, used to as many different things, you know, different visual cues that you might use with a three screen compared to real world racing. Um, the only negative thing about the VR headset is that the resolution could be better. So when you have a three screen setup or a single screen setup or even a projector, the, the resolution of the image is higher. I think because this is so close to your eyes, you can see the pixels just a little bit. But as an overall experience, um, the, the VR headset is, is superior. It's so much more immersive and, and a lot more realistic and a lot more like real life racing. So one thing that I found then was that I had confidence in the car very, very quickly because you can, you, you have this depth perception that's, that's better than, than monitors. Um, so you, you really want to push and I found myself then thinking like I would do in uh, a normal race car and a real world racing car where I'm, I'm thinking about the braking point, I'm thinking how I can adapt my, my braking or coming off the brakes to carry more speed into the corner. It, it's a lot more, it's a much more natural experience that you're, you're consciously, I'm consciously thinking about where I can improve and where I can, can get quicker, carry more speed into the corner. And it's exactly the same as it is in the real world. I'm not trying to adapt to myself because of the sim. 
I'm thinking and doing, changing my inputs like I would do in a real world racing car, which is just incredible. So I've just finished my second session with the VR headset and the, the biggest thing for me and the, the, the most important thing when you're trying to train on a sim as a real world racer is that you can feel the car and that you can get close and very close to the edge. And with the setup that we're running at the moment, Assetto Corsa, uh, the, the motion platform, the, the two post motion platform and the virtual reality headset, just the, the warning and the, the, the feeling that you get in how the car's rotating or which end of the car is sliding is, is so realistic. It means that I can be so close to the limit of the car continuously and consistently that I can put together consistent laps and quick laps where I'm very close to the edge on corner entry, at the apex and on the exit. And when you're trying to train and trying to coach other drivers, that's exactly what you want. You want to have this, this natural feeling window where the car can slide and you can manipulate the car and play with the setup, play with the balance and the platform of the car. And honestly, it's, it's so realistic and the, the VR headset really adds to that. As I was driving around in that second session then, I was actively thinking where I can gain time, how I can carry more speed into this corner. Well, the previous lap I'd break to this point and I hadn't quite carried enough speed in because I didn't feel the car oversteering or rotating. So this next lap, I'm gonna carry a little bit more speed in into the corner. And that process of learning and improving is what you do when you're driving in a real world race weekend. So the similarities and the, the way that you can train your brain to constantly try and improve are just incredible. Sector 1, 40.673.